A narcissist never wants to discuss their actions. They are determined to keep speaking on your reactions though. They're determined to make you look like the bad guy for getting mad and cussing them out. They're determined to make you look like the bad person for taking on so much mentally until you snap. They're determined to ignore the fact that the lies, the cheating, the deceiving, and the manipulation is exactly why you got fed up and blew up. That's a typical narcissist for you. Let's talk about what you did after I abused you, but we'll never talk about the abuse. Let me ask you a question. How could a boy who was born dyslexic, born with many learning disabilities, was in special ed, you know, the short bus? I grew up in a single parent home on welfare, barely graduated from high school and dropped out of college. How could that person be successful, you ask? Well, my old boss, Elon Musk, once told me. <laughs> so listen to this marvel i'm gonna give you a message that al sent me al told me this and this is what you said in a previous video this is how thick you is bro and now after this i'm gonna put gina and her husband on there so they could speak a little bit you know what i'm saying and um Speak about the situation. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all could get more in depth. You know what I mean? Because because the thing is at this point, y'all need to know more, more, more what's going on. So I'm a, after this, I'm going to put Jason and Gina on and they could speak. You know what I'm saying? And then go from there. Then y'all could see, you know, what they got to say. And let's talk about this. But this is what AL said. Oh my God. I remember when Marwa told Jason and Gina since they have supported him so much through thick and thin that he would post their video weekly on this community tab and said they can remind him if he doesn't and there is no harm in that. Marwa did not follow through. Shame on him. And who is he talk about entitlement when he wants everyone to do what he says? He wants to control what and who everyone watches what a hypocrite ma would be, be nothing without youtube and his supporters i agree he uses so many people he think he owns his subscribers and tell everyone to unsubscribe when things don't go his way what a clown al thank you thank you for that right there you know that's not how we move all love over here you know, whatever your perception is of the situation is your perception of it. You know, I'm not here trying to change anybody's mind or have anybody, you know, um, you know, or to change anybody's thoughts of how they feel about him or anything. You know, I'm just speaking about what I experience. You know, that's it. Right, Francis. You know, sometimes you, you know, I, I am very, I'm, I'm an advocate. You know, that's my, my field of work. You know, I advocate for people. You know, I, I feel like, you know, when you know better, you do better. You know, sometimes people can't speak up for themselves, and you know, it's disheartening that you can't, you can't voice your opinion. You know, of course, people say very mean and hurtful things. Nobody should be able to come on this platform and discredit somebody or speak bad about them. But this is what it is. You know, this is a platform. You know, if, YouTube's, if YouTube feels like something has been said that's defaming somebody's character or disrespectful, they'll handle it. You know, this is not for the weak or the weary. You know, this is a, I'm learning that this is a very tough platform to be on. And, you know, I plan on staying here. You know, if people come, they come. If they go, they go. But I appreciate all the people that are here that are genuine, that are supportive, that give us um, constructive criticism. You know, I've learned so much from the people that I met in D.C. And I'm still learning. You know, and I'm grateful for their guidance and support. You know, shout out to you guys. You know exactly who you are. I love you, love you, love you. I love you bad. I do. I appreciate you guys. You know, family is not who you're born into. It's who you create. 
You know, and Abina, I agree with you. It disturbed me too when Jason asked him, you know, what happened? You know, you didn't want to say it. So that leads me to believe that did something really happen? You know, come on. It, it doesn't make sense to me. But then again, it's not for me to figure everything out either. Nope. You know, it's not. So it is what it is, you know. And um, again, we appreciate you guys. And we're always going to be here, guys. Yeah, we hope that, you know, you guys stick it out with us. You know, you guys are my ride and dies. Like I said, I respect and love each and every one of you. I value your opinion, your feedback, your comments, your suggestions. You know, when we decide to pick up and hit the streets, you guys are always there to support us. And I'm humbled and I'm grateful. You know, some people have thousands and thousands of subscribers. We have 2,000, you know, well, right now. And I'm happy for that. <laughs> and I'm happy for that. You know, if it goes but you know, up, we're going to go down, but you know what? We still gonna get up tomorrow, we're gonna rise. That's it. And we still gonna shine and do our thing. Right. So again, thank you for everybody. Well, thank you too. Oh, going. Jason does not want to end this live. Man, I tell you, boy, it's a lot going on in the world out here, man. And we just gonna have a little talk tonight, man. Some, you know, a talk about life, you know. We gonna talk about, you know. The, the, the people from the village in the Scamarazzi village, and I want y'all to engage in this conversation with me. Because we're going to make it positive, constructive criticism, you know. <clears throat> and this is based on Gina and Jason. Jason and Gina, man, that was a very strong, positive message. You know what I'm saying? How they, how they handled that situation. But, you know, I hope this be a learning lesson for Jason and Gina. And not just Jason and Gina, but people in general about some of your friends and sometimes family members. You know, the people that you invest your time in. You know, because things like this really make you question sometimes the people in the world you deal with every day, man. Like, it puts you in a position like, who can you trust? You know what I mean? You know, for Jason and Gina to speak the way they did about the situation, and they wasn't negative at all. They tried to keep everything positive, but they was rubbed the wrong way. And I want y'all to really think about this when it comes to Jason and Gina energy. You know, like even Gina said, you know, she an advocate. She's an advocate for people who don't speak up for themselves. And I could tell the way she speak that she's a very smart individual, you know, and, um, you know, for Marvel to cross people like that blows my mind. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, there's some humble people that really respected Marwa and <clears throat> look how he handled them. You know, Marwa talk about how people are entitled and stuff like that, but it seems like he's the one entitled. You know, people have the right to do what they want to do. They can watch who they want to watch. And it seems like Marvel just want to be a dictator, you know, over people's life. That if you if you cool with him, you shouldn't be cool with nobody else, you know. And that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look at us reactors and, and people like that try to paint bad pictures about us. But in reality... <clears throat> Listen to what we are telling y'all. We're just trying to wake y'all up. It's not about hating. You know what I'm saying? What it's, what it's basically about is seeing through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hype, a lot of games, you know, on a universal term. Let's, let's, let's say it like this. You ever went to a church service, right? And this so called Past the prophet claimed that all these miracles going to take place and God told this person to give you a message. But the crazy thing about it, and this is just an example, in order for you to get this message, this message from God, you must pay the pastor. So what happens if I don't pay the pastor? I can't get the message. Does that make any sense? You see what I'm saying? And, and I say that to bring this up to you, that people play 
on people. You know what I'm saying? Like they, when they think you weak, you know, they, they, they take your, your kindness for your weakness. You know, they, they, they pretend to you, tell you all these nice things and make you feel like you, you just a part of them, you know, and some, it's heartwarming and some people fall into the trap, you know, just by hearing Jason and Gina speak, I could see the humbleness in them and how they just feel like, I don't believe this guy did this. Like, this is unbelievable. But man, it just go to show you that people in life in general, you have to be careful who you think is your so-called friends. Because what happens, long as you're doing for them, they pretend to you. But sometimes test the water and ask them for a favor back in return. And let's see if you get the favor back. That's just life. You know, people say if you do stuff, do it from the heart. That's understandable to a certain degree. And I have faced that in my past because I did a lot of stuff from my heart for people. And they say I'll bring it back up in their face. But if I did it from the heart, why would I bring it back up in their face? I bring it back up in their face because I did do it from the heart. But I feel some type of way where I can't get just a little bit back in return. Just a little bit, a little favor. A, a person standing on their word. A person not saying one thing just to say it to me, but being real. A person thinking about all that I have done for them in the past and having a, enough heart to say, why can't I do a little something for this brother because of all he have done for me? Did you ever think about Marwa all the time that Gina and Jason did for you, narrowing for you, helping you, all the money that they was donating towards you for all the years of loyalty towards you? You said it. I mean, you said it on the video. You says like they was your number, some of your number one supporters for all the years that the things you was going to do for them. So why when Jason confronted you and asked you a simple question and the way this brother talk, I know he didn't disrespect you. I know he didn't disrespect you. Why are you disrespecting the way you did, bro? Why could somebody confront you? About a situation to get some clarification. I didn't think he meant no harm by it. Why did you. Act the way you act. Like bro. Like I'm going to be honest with you man. Like you turning everybody against you man. But everything is happening for a reason. And I'm glad that the truth is coming to the light. I got a suggestion for you brother. Pave your own way. Pay for your own hotels. Do your own thing on your own platform. Because you're really not a friend to anybody. You're really not a friend. And all the fakeness that you bring into people in their life is all getting exposed to the light now. So do your own thing on these YouTube streets. Buy your own hotels. Don't try to pretend you want to hang with people. And don't call people your friends because you're really not a friend. You said it plain as day. You don't have any friends. And we can see why you don't have any friends. You don't have any friends because in the reality, you're not a friend. And basically, you, the same energy that you put out is what you're really getting back in return now. I'm just going to bring it to you raw and uncut, brother. The same energy that you put out towards people is what you're getting exposed back in your life. It's called karma. Karma. That's what it's called. I just got to be totally honest with you. But Jason and Gina, I must say to y'all, this is just another life lesson. We all go through things and we understand. And it's just going to show you, just be careful who you support. And if you ever support somebody, take it as a loss when they act like this. Just say, whoa. Because regardless of what, we bless anyway. We bless anyway. But just another chapter closed in our life. All right. Let's go into Stella Mayuna. 
Check this video out right here. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stella Monyova. And thank you, we are not 10k subscribers. But unfortunately, I'm quitting YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, Stella man, you know. Come on, Stella man, you know. That's not that's not crying, too Stella. Much hate, too much hate on YouTube. <laughs> too much. Like just woke up, just posted your video, a good video for yourself, and then the comments that just too much. Yeah, you gotta be strong in this game, Stella. Little I don't sis. understand. Why do you have to come and type something that you know gonna affect someone in one way or the other? Stella, be strong now. Be strong, Stella. Hmm? Be strong, There's Stella. There's no problem if you will not comment. It's better you don't comment than commenting something that is going to hurt someone. That's life, Stella. Trust me. That's it's life. Ever. You guys, some of, you, you make us feel like we are bad. Like we should not be doing YouTube. That's why I've decided I'm quitting here. Because <laughs> the 100 Stella, stop it, Stella. There, like... It'll be alright, little sis. Negative comments everywhere. You just do your content. You just do your thing. And uh, the energy you're getting back, it's not really giving. Welcome to reality, Stella. Welcome to life. The energy. I'm quitting YouTube. The energy I'm giving on YouTube, I'm not getting the energy back. Continue to be are humble. Not getting views. That's how the What's YouTube wrong? platform is. Have. The videos uh, I post on YouTube, it's not going viral. So I just think that YouTube is not good for me. Everybody not doing YouTube. Me. That's I, the problem. Don't feel bad. As if I should not be there. Why, why am I not getting views? I don't understand. Too much work. Too much work. Okay. Feedback zero. Negativity. Like, what is that? Stella Mayuna, I got a little message for you. Listen to me real good. I know I could see that that deep down inside. I wouldn't even come on here. You know, I play wrong a little bit on your little video clip, but I know you're going through a little emotional setback right now. But honestly, Stella, this YouTube streets is is hard. And I'm going to be honest with you, even with the, when it comes to YouTube, it's not a fair game. You can have the best content and barely get views. Because the power don't even lie, it, it, it lies in us. It all lies on the algorithm. It's who the algorithm give more showing to the audience. It's really up to the algorithm, rather the algorithm is going to put you out there in front of more people or not. But I'm, I'm going to be honest with you right now, we're going through a time with the algorithm because everything is changing. It's more competition out here. You got TikTok, you got shorts. And the reality is this. Don't let nothing that Marwa or anybody fool you. Because their time is running out also with the algorithm. I'm explain to you why. The algorithm controls everything. How many people viewing you? How many people can see you? But the reality now, the algorithm don't have to pay like they used to. They don't have to give anybody the views like they used to. They don't have to put you in front of a lot of audience like they used to. They're only going to have certain people pick to give them the center stage. Let me break it down what I mean the center stage on the algorithm. Rather you become a big celebrity or not, they have the power. You ever thought, in the, thought about this in the music industry? I'm going to just give you a scenario, Stella, in the audience. There's so many people with talent. But guess what? If they don't get that so-called record deal, their talent will never get seen to the world. That don't mean they don't have the talent. It's rather they allow you to be get to get known to the world. It's up to them. When it comes to the algorithm, it's up to the algorithm to put you in front of more people or not. Stella Man, you know, I think you do a great job of showing videos. I'm going to be honest. You do you do a great job, and not just a great job, but you, 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 you talk really good. You, 
You does great content. But it doesn't matter how good our content is. It's really up to the algorithm. There's no control rather they suggest you to more people or not. They could bring you up and they could bring you down. But I would tell anybody on these YouTube streets, it's not an easy job. It's going to be a lot of disrespect. And it's only for the scrum. People are going to disrespect you. They're going to say all kinds of stuff about you. But you got to remember, it doesn't matter what anybody say. Don't let nobody control who you are by their words. Mama always told me, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. So many people disrespect. You'll be surprised the people that dis disrespect you under their breath. But that's human nature. It's nothing we can do about it. But at the same time, the algorithm controls everything. When you see these big YouTubers that you feel going viral and stuff like that, at the same time, the algorithm still controls that. Let me tell you something. I know people that get millions of views and get a check for 500 and something dollars. American dollars. You would think they're getting a big check off for a million views. And the funny thing about it, the views coming from India. How all of a sudden India see my project? Did India really see my videos? Or the algorithm control it in India? Let's do let's be let's be honest. Y'all really think that deep down inside all this is controlled? By us as people, and how many people won't view us now is bigger than us. If the algorithm don't give us the center stage, we don't get the center stage. That's how life works. So when you're on these YouTube streets, you gotta do it for fun. But I'm gonna close it off with this right here, Stella, and you and anybody else. There's so many people competing right now with the YouTube streets. YouTube have changed so much because TikTok is one of their biggest competitors. And when it comes to running commercials and ads and stuff like that, you got to think about this. If YouTube don't have to pay as much content creators like they used to, because so many people are doing all these videos for free, why would they want to pay? Why? They don't have to. They don't need us like they did before. They needed the people to build them to the position they're in right now. But there's so many people doing it for free now. It doesn't matter. Go look at all them TikTok videos. Them people not getting paid. Look at people all over Facebook. Them people not getting paid. You got something. You only got a handful that's really getting paid. Look how many people creating YouTube channels just to create it now. Look at the competitors out there. These people ain't getting paid. I just got to bring it to you in reality right now. But if the YouTube screech is putting too much pressure on you from the disrespect and stuff like that, I would suggest to you that you go ahead and just out of sight, out of mind. And close out the YouTube, take a little break, question yourself if you want to do it for fun, but don't have too much expectations off it. Because there's so many people on YouTube every day uploading videos. Look and see how many people upload a day. And they ain't getting no views. That don't mean your product is bad. That don't mean you're not doing good. It just rather that YouTube suggests you to more people or not. They have control of the audience. And that's just simple as it go. Just something to think about. Peace. Mr. Midas, the worldwide traveler, also known as the king of travel. His life is like a movie. They think they got you figured out, but they really don't. <laughs> Remember, don't just talk about it, be about it. Think bigger than your city. Let's travel. Let's travel.